Hey everybody, it's Lynn from A Bit of Birdsong. I thought I would just check in for a few minutes. I kept thinking all day today, I, I really need to check in and do some sort of video. I'm working on several projects and I spent some time with my daughter today, so I never really got or made the time to do a full long video showing a complete process of anything. But I'm finishing up an art journal page and I just said, well, you know what? I'm going to just turn the camera on and film the last little bit of this. I've been cleaning out in the workshop, which I have to do regularly. And one of the things that I kept coming across in here that was driving me crazy is some upholstery trim. Wait, let me grab it. <laughs> so here it is. It's, it is, it's really pretty neat but it's unraveling. And every time I would look at this piece of upholstery trim, I would think, you know, it looks like just really wild hair, like the curls I always wished that I had. So I didn't throw it away. I didn't throw it away. And I kept thinking it's got to end up being hair on an art journal page. And that's what I did today. I was organizing again and I said, you know what, I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to grab a bunch of this and sew it onto the page to be her hair and just be done with it and decide if it's something that I want to keep. And I just love the way this turned out. Of course, I wrote on the side here, I am beautiful. Let me go ahead and sign this and date it. How can it already be the 11th? That's great. But don't you love that? Look, you can see the zigzag stitch. I just went back and forth with a straight stitch to hold it into place and then put some zigzags in some other places. And this is definitely going to be in one of my upcoming art journals. So I'm working in my dream journal every day, or I shouldn't say every day. Like today, I definitely wanted to do something in it, and I ended up spending time with my daughter, which was not planned. And if you hang around to the end, I'll show you a little bit of a walk that we took. Um, but I'm working in my art journal, I mean my dream journal, quite a bit. And I finished up the last art journal. So it's time to make another one. And I'm working on several of those. I'm not sure exactly when they'll be done. I know that some of you had wanted an art journal like the Poetic Rust. So I need to quit talking and just um, see if I can get some more color here. That's kind of yeah, the walk outside. Um Oh. oh, yeah, this is the brush where the little tip falls off. Okay, I like that. And maybe we will just take a little color, add it to the background. I think I just painted her arm, but that's okay. She could have a purple sleeve tattoo for all we know. I, um, Keep up every once in a while with Kat Von D. I used to love her um, show where she did the tattoos and what was that called? You know, she it was one of the earlier shows. I bet it was greater than 10 years ago. Um, but I think she recently got a lot of dark tattoo work done to cover up some of her earlier tattoos. So people do get sleeves that are just one solid color. Every time I see um, 
red and purple together, I think about being young, like maybe, I don't know, 11, something like that, and reading in Tiger Beat magazine that Donny Osmond's favorite colors were red and purple. Did anybody else read that? My cousin and I used to just hold our breath for that next issue of Tiger Beat. And it would be Donny Osmond, it would be it would be the Osmonds, it would be the DeFrancos, wasn't that their last name? And it would be um I think Rick Springfield came along at some point, but who was that other Somebody Gray, Michael Gray, and uh, the Jackson Five. Oh my gosh, I just can't even remember who all we would be looking out for. And then of course we would swoon for a whole week over that magazine and then we would have to wait for the next one to come out. Okay, I like her. I might just give her a little bit of purple right here. She's pretty sassy. So that's just my fun playing page for the day. Doesn't have to be spectacular. You never know what you're going to discover when you're playing with art supplies. You might come up with a color combination that you love or an idea that you love. And that might turn into something really special. So I hope everybody's doing great. I'm going to get back to cleaning. I just wanted to stop and finish this page. And I will see you all really soon. Bye for now. Oh, I love that. Hey, look at your blue eyes. Mm. Kendall, are we going on a walk today? Are you with Grandma? That's that's Grandma's boy. This is so pretty out here. Yeah, it is. We've just spotted a little kitty cat. Do you think it can see? I don't know. I don't know why it's sitting out there. Its eyes looked a little hey, bit. Kitty, um, kitty, kitty, kitty. Its eyes it looked a little bit. Yeah, it up. You think we should take it somewhere? Oh my goodness. Oh, hi. Hey. It's okay, it's okay. Oh, hi. Oh, oh stretching. <laughs> yeah, I have two at home too. Oh, oh yeah. There's more down there. Oh yeah. Oh, there's a couple more. We're on the pathway at the river walk and we're seeing deer. There's deer down in there. Oh. That's not your favorite, Paps. That's not your favorite.